Good morning, my beloved Naholos and Nahalas. Episode 5 of Echo. Gotta be honest, I am not remotely looking forward to this. It's kind of dis- it's kind of depressing, this show. It's just nothing. I get nothing out of this. I get no joy. I get no humor. I get no family togetherness. This show seems to fail at every possible level. Not a single romance. Just the thing with Bonnie and Maya's relationship. Doesn't even feel like a friendship. Just feels like a one-sided Bonnie's confused of why Maya didn't call her back. And that's it. Family members, I get no love out of anyone. I don't care about anything. Biscuits is the only one that I... I don't know. Grandfather's cool. Uncle something's cool. Biscuits okay, though. I don't have any family members that I really, really want to see more of. And I'm going to this episode completely blind and not knowing a single solitary thing of what can possibly happen. Let's get into it, guys. Episode 5, it's 34 minutes long. This should be the series finale because I can't imagine them going any further with this one. Let's do it. I won't bring. Are they really going to make the biscuit car situation a major plot point going forward? Like he's just going to show up with a tank in the final moments? You know, Chola's story's been closed down for a while now. Who cares? Who cares? Why is that a thing? Why is that going to be a major thing that happens later on? She opens up her, sh- her store. Just what's going on here? Your mother, the Lord. Are we ever going to get to deal with what happened with that sparrow? It just showed up inside the cave, caused a collapse, and then it's just been hanging around them this entire time. Is a sparrow part of the Chakta law and everything like that? Stop, stop, Your music is very loud and annoying. Please stop. Whose house is this again? Did we ever establish that? Guys, you are in episode 5. We're two minutes in. You do not have time to waste on a woodpecker. You fucking bitch, if you shoot that bird... Oh my god! You are a sick bitch! You shot it! You f- What the f- What the fuck? Episode 5, you want me to hate this woman even more? Oh my god, what- Who the fuck wrote this? I can see why this bird killed your mother later on. I didn't mean to hurt it, I just meant to shoot it with a rock. Well, you did. Congratulations. No, you're not sorry. You're incapable of being sorry. Can you just fix this fucking bird? Stop monologuing. Oh my god, just... uh, Just fucking fix the bird. Stop talking. We're really doing this. Just a history lesson as this bird is dying. You guys are just the absolute worst at writing. Yes, yes, we can. But are we going to do it today? Why are you debating this? I thought you were a healer. Are you fucking kidding me? These people have had these abilities this entire time. Maya literally saw her mother do this before her eyes. And on the train, when her foot was stuck, she saw her hands glow and she was so confused by it and didn't have any answers of what was going on. Clearly this is what happened. It's got passed down for generations. You're all superheroes. Why are we not seeing this with the rest of the family? Oh my god, what a useless thing though. You know what would have been really great? When she got into that car accident and she was dying, maybe it would have been kind of cool to see her trying to do this with her hands or something like that though. Trying to heal herself, but she was too late. That might have been a nice little detail to put in, right? Are they really going to do that? Again, through Maya's point of view. Why did this car accident happen? Wow, we really got nothing out of this. We got nothing. 
She shot a bird, her mother healed it, and then we saw the car accident that we saw in episode one. We're five minutes in. As radiant as the sun shining out of no, my- No, hush. I'm here for business. Well, and I know it's been a while, but- Mmm, it has been. I bought in a, a sewing machine a few years back, and I was just- You gotta take in those dresses, you dirty little girl. Just wondering, maybe... You really came in here to try to sex this man up and just ask for something. This how you treat paying customers? You're not paying, you're a freeloader, essentially. You are adorable. You still have it. Yeah, no one bought it because it's stupid. Yeah, I didn't put it up for sale. Why? Because I'm a hoarder. Put a uh, quick mesh blanket on it. And then I forgot about it. You need to come back for it. I just had to wait. Are these two divorced or something? Did the, did the death of their daughter break them up? Because that kind of would have been interesting to see. Promise me you'll come back once in a while. Fine. What is, yeah, really, what is their relationship right now? And what, what was it before? I'll get the door. They know how to say anal in cha-cha. Excuse me. It's okay. <laughs> what the fuck was that, though? <laughs> Run right through me. Oh, excuse me. Please, let me help. Oh, thank you. I haven't seen you around before. Are you here for the powwow? You could say that. Oh, he is gonna gun this place down. I was right. People come from all over for our Choctaw Nation powwow. Why is he at the post office? Does he know who this is? Your necklace. American Sign Language. It says I love you. Oh, you sign? No, I don't. I try for my niece. You don't try. I learned for my daughter. She's passed on now. Why did you learn it for your daughter? You would have learned it for your granddaughter. Your your daughter wasn't deaf, was she? At least I don't think she was. Did they establish that in episode? One? Oh yeah, everyone was speaking sign language in episode one, and we never really. Got to know who was deaf. I thought they were just doing it because of uh, practicing because of Maya. Maybe she was deaf. So is deafness passed down from mother to child? Yes, I really feel like we could stop that if it was. I've lost someone who I loved. It's the kind of pain you never quite get over. Okay, thank you. I have to go back to my hourly wage. Thank you. I keep it up now for my granddaughter. Really? Oh, really? Her daughter was deaf this whole time? I had no idea. Yeah. Well, tell me about her. No, I'm fucking busy. Shut up. Her name is Maya. And then he's like, oh my god, the same Maya I'm looking for? What a small town. She just come in from New York. Did he really not know? Just, just out of pure curiosity of writing standpoint. Did he walk into the post office to meet her? Or he walked into the post office and just so happened to meet her. Which one is it? You had this in your eye the entire time? Have you ever worn contact lenses? If you don't leave them in this whole time, you have to like flush your eyes out and stuff like that with saline solution or something. You're telling me for over a day and with sleeping, she kept this in her eye this entire time? And now threw it out for for all you know this was a tracker it could have been a bomb. You just left it in there, you idiot. And why did you even have it? It didn't benefit the kingpin though. He wasn't able to understand you. We didn't hear the palm pilot going off. Throw it out. Why are you wasting time? Ten minutes in. I'm honestly surprised you threw it into an actual garbage receptacle. I thought she would just thrown it on the floor or something like that. Why is the dog wearing a safety vest and directing traffic? Um, right over there is General parking with uh, Roger. Look at this. This dog's over here with a safety vest on. Why would you put him in danger like that? Two moons if you yeah. just hit him. So, uh, I'm gonna pack up down by there so I can enjoy your indigenous fare from afar. Why are you so weird? Because, uh, otherwise, if not, then they, uh, the power. 
Why are we, why are we why are we doing this? Just just fucking park anywhere. What does it matter? You walk like twenty more extra feet. I know. Hey, Billy Jack. You're parking right up there. That's so awkward. Maya, you don't have money. How are you paying for this? Why are we all on like some group chat or something like that? Does she have any idea what's going on? Oh god, that woodpecker is out for revenge! What does she think is going on here? Just a couple of people weren't answering their phones, so oh my god, that means the kingpin must have got them. Maybe you should have thought about that before you involved everyone. You know, like I said in your my episode one review, you're gonna get everyone killed, right? Whatever it is is not more who the fuck? That's our mother? What is she doing here? Can we just maybe not put her in such tight fitting outfits like this? She just had a kid. Obviously, she should have lost the weight, but clearly she didn't. Why do you want to humiliate her? Is, is that something that can happen now? Just the spirits could come out of nowhere and just he literally heal you and do things? It's like the Force Ghost in uh, The Last Jedi where... Now Ghost uh, Yoda could summon lightning? Like, what's the point of being alive? What, what the hell was that, though? Was she trying to heal her as she was dying? Is that what's happening? That's all it took? Just a, a quick little thing? You couldn't do this to her, like, 20 years ago or something like that? You couldn't... Talk to her father and you know, bestow some wisdom upon him. Just maybe talk to your mother. Make you know, make everything great. You just showed up now, healed her, and oh, that's great. All the character developments on Maya, oh, she's perfect now. That's what it is. You don't have to know. I just healed you. You're fine. What are you missing here? What are you stupid? But you guys didn't help me for 20 years. You, you, you abandoned me. You left me. Yes, all you do is bring danger, death, and destruction around you. You should have left. You should have never came back. Why did you come back? Did we ever... Also, this, this, this show started off with her being shot and healing herself, right? We never really got what happened, right? The gifts that you did not earn, just we're going to give them to you. I like the message. Don't get me wrong. I think it's actually a very good message that your ancestors will always be there. They've given you these gifts. They've gone through the trials and tribulations, so you could be great too. It's just that we haven't gotten anything out of Maya. She has not shown any of these gifts at all. She doesn't do anything. I don't I don't really know much about her. Except that she's really violent, has anger issues, and doesn't give a shit about anyone except herself. Just, I don't, there, there's nothing about her. And yeah, this is a very beautiful moment. This woman's doing a fantastic job. It's just, it would be nice if we actually got to see these things out of Maya. Instead of just episode 5, almost halfway through, it's just, oh, here you go. Here's everything you need. So if Grandma Sar's blanket did not make this, what would have happened in the scene then? Is she actually there though? Is that what this is supposed to be? Or is this like a dream sequence? This song is actually number three in the world behind Ben Shapiro's rap album. Can you imagine? Because obviously we're going to get some kind of big battle between Kingpin's men and the Chakta people, though. Can you imagine if they all harness their powers at the same time? Holy shit, I just realized something. Only the women can do this. So now we're going to get the uh, girl team-up moment like in Endgame. Just all Chakta women doing everything and the men just doing nothing. That's what we're going to get. Calling it now. 
Can you maybe pretend like you want to blend in or something like that and not be so fucking inconspicuous? Keep your eyes out for Maya Lopez. Why not just wait for her to show up? Just maybe get eyes on her and then bring everyone out? Also, is the Kingpin going to kill her or is it just we're going to bring you in whether you like it or not? She's heavily armed and dangerous. No, she's not heavily armed. You have no reason to think that she's heavily armed. There's no reason to even think that she has a gun at this point. I saw a lot of behind the scenes footage talking about the um, people that made this show and the Chakta people. And they really did go out of their way to make this very authentic. And that's a great thing. It's really great that they had a lot of pride in doing that. It's just, you didn't do that with your actual show. You just said, hey, we're going to just represent these Indians. This one Indian tribe, out of all the other Indian tribes in the entire country, we're going to do justice for them and do our best to represent them in a proper way. That's great. And if you would have spent the rest of the time making this script with the same amount of dedication and hard work and love, we could have gotten something great. We don't need world ending stakes. We don't need bullshit multiverse. We don't need unexplained powers or something like that, though. You could have just gave us a character about a deep, deeply disturbed individual as Maya Lopez just trying to fight back her demons and survive in this town. But no, instead, you gave us four and a half episodes of just family drama, one or two good fight scenes, and that's it. Why is she here, though? Just, just out of pure curiosity, just... Maya thinks that Bonnie and the grandmother are kidnapped, right? So, so why is she in the middle of all these, these people just human shields for her? Just, wouldn't she want to do this covertly or something like that? Blend in in the outskirts of it? And then just work her way around and find, I don't know, the bad guys? This is all they cared about when they made this show, was this scene right here. Is that a coffee cup? Is that a Starbucks cup? Did the Game of Thrones people do this episode? You're not even enjoying yourself here. You're with your people, wearing ceremonial outfits. You can't even crack a smile. What are you doing here? What are you doing here, too? Like, are you gonna shoot this place up? What's the point? Why is she wearing a headdress? Why isn't she wearing a headdress? Everyone else is. Oh, the revenge woodpecker is here again. What is the deal with this woodpecker? Call me crazy, but could we maybe have gotten something with this woodpecker? Where just the chalk the people are the ones that are chosen? that can speak to the ancestors, have some kind of animal that follows them the entire time. So maybe she has this woodpecker that can, I don't know, bang its beak on things and she could feel the vibrations or something. I don't I don't know. I'm just trying to think of what you could have done to make this actual actually work. Oh, but uh, there's some creepy guy here and he brought a whole bunch of Naholos in. And I don't know, man. Nope, got Naholos. We can say that word now, guys. To get dangerous, do you have a gun or a weapon? No, I'm Biscuits. Do you think I have anything to protect myself? I got something even better. <laughs> what could it possibly be? What did you make at that auto junkyard? Not today, Naholo. Not today. Whoa, 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 whoa. Biscuits, getting a little racial here, okay? Tone, tone it back a bit. Biscuits, you call me a Naholo again, I might sneeze in your face. Why would this room have bad guys in it? Just, you you got into this abandoned building and you think the bad guys are in here? Ah, it's a trap, I'm guessing. She can't communicate with them. They don't have the eyepiece anymore. Oh, now you must choose. Why to put the gun down? Have it on him still. Because it could be the mentality of, okay, you might kill my grandmother, you might kill my old best friend, but I will kill you. 
right, well, guys, I guess the um, series is over. You know, for some reason it says 11 minutes left, but obviously she is screwed, outgunned, outmanned. There is nothing she could do. So I guess we'll just see the credits and see what happens, okay? That's why Bonnie's here. So they could translate. Because she threw away the eyepiece... And because Fisk doesn't know sign language, they have created the character Bonnie for this one moment and one moment only. Plot conveniences, that's what this show is. Do you know what's going on here? Just, like, out of curiosity, does he have a single clue what's happening? Damn, that Naholo just sitting up there. Can we maybe just hear Fisk yelling at her? Please, just... Why are you just... Why are you handcuffing this man? Yes, and I realized this five minutes ago, so I am a changed individual. I don't know, you kind of lost your legacy at the age of, like, five or seven or something like that, though. Afterwards... You've been living with your father, who was a gangster. You've been living with Fisk. So your culture is all gone. It should be gone. You should not really have any ties to these people anymore. Why did they do this? Why are we wasting Vincent D'Onofrio? Didn't Hawkeye technically kill him? Just, I, I forgot what happened in that show, though, but... We did see that Hawkeye killed her father, right? Comedy. Cinema, even. Episode brought to you by Capri Sun. Capri Sun. Sometimes people drink us. Okay. fuck is going on here? Holy shit, we are gonna get the endgame bullshit. Oh my god, she just slapped that guy. Ah yes, the girl power moment. Good god, it took it took a while. It took a while, but we got it. Dead on arrival show. I'm not shocked. You know what would be really funny if the dudes with the machine guns, like, they trade places, and the guys with the guns were in the warehouse, and the guys without the guns were in the van? Just, that kind of would have gone a little bit differently, right? You call me a Naholo again, I'm gonna give myself SARS and roll around in your bed. Why did they do this with the truck? Just, he had a problem with his bumper, so they built him a monster truck? Maya didn't need the Ancients helping her at all. She was a good fighter. She kicked everyone's asses in the uh, skating arena. Just, there's no reason that she had to harness this power, right? What the fuck are you doing? Building a sniper rifle over there? Wait, what? Are you kidding? <laughs> That is not the natural reaction to seeing someone point a gun at you. You usually just shoot them. Put your hands together. Uh -huh. That was really his moment. That was his final moment. He put on a silencer and shot some dude. I had such glowing things to say about episode 3 with that fight scene. I said nothing but good things about it. I said the choreograph was absolutely perfect. Just, it was brutal. Sure, it was a little bit nonsensical at times, though, but you know what? It entertained me. This fight, bad camera angles, quick cuts, zoom-ins, just... It's garbage. We did not remotely utilize the scene. We didn't remotely utilize the stunt people. Just, what a waste. Why would that be his opening move? That's so stupid. So you're gonna heal him? That's what you're gonna do? The show is dumb. <laughs> what the fuck is happening in that room? Oh my 
God. Father Fisk is giving it to her. Mmm. Hey. Give her the business, man. I get what they're trying to do. But just... As usual, all these things are just concepts. These are just bullet points they wrote on a piece of paper. And that's it. They're not developed at all. They could have been done so much better. You're, you're Disney. You're Marvel. You have all the resources in the world. You could have made this good. But as, as usual, you rushed it. You absolutely rushed it, and it's dumb. <laughs> so now is the Kingpin going to be a better person now? Because we do have the Daredevil TV show coming out. And I know Bullseye is going to be in it, and there's some kind of mystery character whose name I've forgotten, but are we not going to get Kingpin going forward? Which do? Oh, good, a guy with a gun. Shoot them. Shoot them all right now. What did you do? Why did you, so you just yelled, what did you do, and then just got out of there without getting an answer? That's the final fight with Kingpin. That's, that's what you, how you wanted to end this show. Why are there police? You know, when Biscuits ran over those dudes in the truck, um... Did Biscuits kill those dudes in the truck? Is that fucking bird dead? Oh, good, they actually healed it. I, I was worried for a second. Because why wouldn't you just have released it after you healed it? Why would you just put the rag on it and bring it back here, though? It's a bird. It'll find its way back. We're just getting her driving away and that's it though. That's that's how you're ending your show. Did they know she was coming? Just this kind of a big moment. Did like do they know that? What the fuck was that? You guys really didn't even smile at each other? Bonnie didn't smile, but Maya did, that's weird. Marvel Studios would like to extend our deep gratitude to the Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma for their collaboration in this series. You could have honestly have just made up a Native American tribe and not a single person would have ever thought differently. You have spent an entire show caring nothing more than about representing this tribe than you did making a good show. You could have done both, you chose to do one or the other, you made a garbage show out of it. There are legitimate problems in the city right now. Exactly right. A bare knuckled brawler would do well in this race. Yes, but there's still a window of opportunity. That's what the poll is. So Kingpin is gonna run for office. Is is he still gonna be a bad guy? Is he a good guy at this point though? Is his pain healed? So thus he wouldn't be so bad? Is that what what happened there? Is he going to be a philanthropist now? Is he going to tell all of his men, hey, um, you're kind of all fired. All of his, uh, you know, bad, de all of his companies that are just extorting money out of people, he's going to uh, abandon those, obviously. Just, I don't think they have a single idea where they're going with this at all. Because Marvel writers do not talk to other Marvel writers at all. They all, they all self-contained stories. They don't care what the rest of the universe is. They don't need to expand on anything like that. Doesn't matter. So that was Echo. Season 1. Good lord, I hope there's not a season 2. Episode 5. What a absolute waste. What a waste of everything that you tried to build up. I saw that, uh, that female endgame type of moment coming very early on in this episode. Proud to say. Everything else, I didn't give a shit about. We saw the weird flamboyant guy get shot and die really quickly. We didn't get a cool fight scene between him and a brother bear or something like that, though. Nope, none of that, though. Just quick shots of the chest. He's dead. Firework explosion. Blah, blah. Biscuit ran over some trucks with some heavily armed dudes in it. That completely stopped that situation. The final fight, no one had guns there. And Maya knew exactly how to use her powers pretty fast. Just, what more do you say about a show like this, though? It was a waste. Did it expand the universe? No. Are we ever going to see Echo again? I hope not. I don't see what you could possibly do with her. She doesn't fit anywhere, because let's just say she goes into another universe. Let's say she goes into the Daredevil universe. Like, it may be born again or something like that, though. 
What is she gonna do? She, gonna, how, she can't communicate with anybody. What do you What do you do? Daredevil doesn't know sign language. You can't bring her into the uh, the main fold of the Avengers because what's gonna happen? Uh, well, I was gonna say Tony Stark, but he's dead though. Maybe they'll bring him back in the multiverse. But um, we can have Doctor Strange heal her or something like that. Give her the ability. No, you can't do that. You cannot remove. Maya Lopez from being the only deaf character in the MCU. You have to keep her doing that. So you're going to expect, what, the rest of the Avengers and everyone else to learn sign language? What's she going to do? Come come across the Punisher? You think they're going to be a team-up? I saw they might be doing something with Colleen Wing. Maybe like an Iron Fist show, like a spinoff or something like that. She's not going to learn sign language. You think Jessica Jones is going to learn sign language? Hell no. You think Luke Cage is going to learn sign language? No. So you're going to have this character that can't communicate with everyone, and it's going to be just a waste. Just a pathetic waste of a show, pathetic waste of everyone's time. thought the show was terrible, but I did enjoy it because I got to talk about it with you guys. So what did you guys think about Echo? Just Is there anything positive to say about this? Is there anything positive to say about the characters? Do you guys have anyone that you actually liked? Let me know what you guys think. I'm, I'm kind of curious what everyone thinks about the show.